Hello and welcome back to the Chasm. So today we're going to be carrying on with the Chasm Spelunkers quest. So we're going to head on over in this direction to go and investigate the other site. So we already did the first one. gonna climb up this wall and hope this is how we do uh, can I get like around this no Tell you what. We're gonna cross over here. Grab this while we're here and get the waypoint. Amazing, yes. I am Tyrope Walker. <laughs> Circus Supreme. I'll do the Celia another time unless it's on the way. Well this bridge is very useful anyway. Oh, don't come and get me now. This is like the last video. <laughs> is this an answer from this world? Getting killed right in the middle of a cutscene. What's up, dude? What you got? What you got? Stay put. Come a little closer. Oh, do I have? I have a little radish. I will just grab this one. Normally I'll leave them until later. But uh, I think I only need one more to get to the next level. Which feels fairly worthwhile. Okay. Sight of the first anomaly. We're gonna have to fight something, aren't I? Scatter! Yugling! You're in for a little shock. There we go. Okay. Oh.
This looks like that dark thingamajig we saw earlier. Huh? Have you seen this before? That's right, and Jin told us to warn you to be careful too. Did you listen? No. Oh, monsters incoming. Oh, nah, bro. Try not to enjoy. Let's dance. Huh. Huh. Take a photo. And let's go. I don't think we're high enough level to get rid of that gunk yet. I'll try it though. Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll go level it up in a bit. Second place. The anomalies disappeared. That's concerning. <gasps> Yola! God. What are you doing here? Okay, after this while we're here, we're gonna upgrade the pavilion of the stone. This is all thanks to you. Please take this. Uh, thought something was going badly. Thanks. Ah, come on. There's no need to be so polite. I mean, Khadiv's the one forking out the Mora. Oh wait, shh. Best be quiet. Lest that stingy scholar from Samaria hears us. Wow. Shall we go look for Jinwu? We can probably probe our experienced mind concerning some of the questions we had on the way. You know something? Jinwoo doesn't like talking about this, but just like how you're famous for your exploits on Dragonspine, she was also quite the famous figure down at the mines. I heard that she helped to guide the Millilith search parties, and that they saved a lot of people together. Still, those things are in the past now. I shan't mention them too much, lest she gets mad again. Alright. I won't keep you any longer. I thought we were... Did I do the wrong, uh... I might have done the wrong quest. No? Oh, that was weird. I thought we were doing, um... Something with that cannon. Oh, that was quicker than I thought. Let's talk to Jinwoo. Ah, you're back. Oh, this is just the start of it. Okay. Hmm. Kotofo, what are you doing here? <laughs> well... You know this guy, Jinwoo? Yes, he used to sell fake medicines above ground. He'd go around advertising this real man's meds nonsense, only for the workers to buy it and find that it was just Valbury Jam. Well, not that it was harmful, and it was cheap and pretty tasty. It was chilled and ice too, so it was, all things considered, a way better deal than drinks purchased from a long way off of the city. So, you've fallen in with the treasure hoarders in the meantime, have you? Um, you could say that. Kinda. How did you know that he... Heh, <laughs> you've got a lot to learn, kiddo. I didn't spend 20 odd years of my life down in these mines for nothing, you know? 
You can wash the soot off your face, but you can't change the colour your hands are dyed. Alright then. Tell me, what can you do? We don't feed idlers around here. He claims that he can make explosives. Well now, guess that alchemy you learned has finally been put to some use, huh? Well, we do need a demolitions team at the moment. Wait, didn't we get in touch with a demolitions expert from Mondstadt? Why do we need to count on him? Oh, you mean her? So, Mooning received an apology letter just this morning, saying that the kid had blown the stove right off this restaurant called Good Hunter and got grounded as a result. Oh my goodness, Klee? How could you mess with Good Hunter, though? No more fisherman's toast for you. Even her guardian, I guess? This guy called the cavalry captain, I think. <laughs> Either way, he got grounded too, and he was supposed to come with her. Damn it, Kaya. Solitary confinement for all. Baby jail. Baby jail for Kaya. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's some kind of code for people in Mondstadt? Either way, she's not coming. Who might that be? Clodolfo who might actually be the safer choice. So even you think so, huh, Saru? Well, I guess it's your lucky day, Klotofo. Come on, Ji Chong. Klotofo is from Mondstadt, so he's not too far off the mark from what we were looking for. He'll serve. Yeah, I think if we'd have had Kui, literally the whole chasm would be just imploded. Like, it would, it would just fall in on itself because she'd throw a bomb too far or something. Thank you, Jinwoo. Thanks so much. So, I guess I count as a member of the team now. Once you've proved your worth. Well, I've got no faith in this fellow. The demolitions team is a key appointment. Lives will be at stake. And we're giving this to a treasure hoarder. Oh, quit your yammering, you. I've known this kid way longer than you have. He's not a bad person. Never had the courage to, anyway. Just give him some time. So, other than meeting some new friends, were you here for anything else? Well, the path to the lower levels has been sealed off by stone, so we're going to use the Mountainator to clear that path. <laughs> the Mountainator, eh? <laughs> eh? What are you laughing about? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Sorry. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but in the engineering department we called this the Safe Blasting Mechanism 2156. But I suppose Mountainator works too. It's a cute nickname, no doubt. If you want to use that cannon, uh, it's a shame I wasn't part of the demoli demolition crew, and I need to take care of the camp over here. Still, I think that you should be able to find a manual nearby. Ah, right. I also believe that the keys to the facility should have been hidden separately in two different water filtration devices. Let me mark them on the map for you. Wait, what? Isn't that the same as hiding your house keys under the doormat? What kind of security measure is that? Well, you say that, but the chasm was never a place that ordinary people could access. Even if people with other intentions entered. It's not entirely likely that they would immediately think to find the two keys in such obvious places. Am I right, my treasure hoarder friend? Uh, well, Urge wasn't able to find the storehouse keys, that's for sure. What? That idiot doesn't count. Anyway, I need to continue working on those maps, so I leave Klotofo to you guys. You're not worried about him? Hmm. I'll keep a close watch on him. Who knows if he's got some poisonous plan against us. Even if Jinwu trusts him, I won't let my guard down. I can't be at ease until he's in the hands of the Millilith. Keep an eye on this guy. Don't even give him a chance to try anything. Alright, now that you know where the store cut storehouse keys are don't disturb me any further all right by the way sorry you must have seen some raw lumen stone ore on the way here right if you need to come look for me and i'll help you polish them up they're actually pretty good as a juvens town in this place they seem to have the power to restrain the encroachment of that black mud-like substance almost as if they were born to be enemies the principle of how that works escapes me though <laughs> what can i say I'm just not all that learned outside my profession, but once you see that thing, I think you'll understand. 
Okay. I'm just gonna upgrade the achievement. Refine, sorry. Oh, neat. Hmm, the rewards are pretty decent as well. How many of those do I have? I think I'm pretty close to pity, so I might just throw these in now. Sure, I think I'm at like 55 or 60. Might as well. We're unlikely to get anything nice, but it's always fun to have a little, a little pull. I was hoping, obviously. <laughs> okay, so. We're gonna go over here. <clears throat> Is it below? I heard Where are you? There's a thingy here. Huh. We're gonna see if we can use our thingy now. Nice! It worked! we go. I guess that must be above then. Ah oh, yes, it's over there. I'll leave it for now. Okay, let's go to the other one. But it's up, isn't it? No? It must be down. Nothing but big brains here, don't you worry. If it ain't up, it's down. You are welcome. We are blessed with insanely strong logic <sighs> skills here. Also, stop burgeoning. My blooms. Rude. All I can say is these guys suck. Come a little clip. You're in for a little shock. Okay. They were very rude. No pain, no gain. <laughs> okay, so the other one's here. <clears throat> oh yes, the water filter. Uh, 
Yo, I thought the thing was supposed to be here. Am I wrong? Sorry, man. I thought you had it. Maybe it's... <laughs> well, we did it. Let's go unlock that door. I should probably eat something as well. The hazards of not having a bow user on your team. Okay, Got a red key and a black key. It's cannonball time, baby. Oh shit! That's not good. That wasn't there when I got here. Do I have to fight you or can I just... Is this an answer from this world? You know, if I don't like have to fight them, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. Bye guys. Tofo. What's up? We found the cannonballs. They're in perfect shape. How do the fuses look? Not great. They can't be used anymore. How did that happen? The fuses in here have all been assigned as such that they are activated by a catalytic reaction with Geo, but the anomalies down here in the mines must have affected them. The geocatalytic Elements within the fuses have t all turned into this strange inert blue crystal, so they're all useless. Well, that's not good. We weren't prepared for such strange goings on. Well, there were definitely some words there in there that Paimon didn't get at all. So, what happens to the cannonballs without the fuses? That's not a very bright question. What was that again? Paimon couldn't hear you. Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying that without their fuses, none of these cannonballs would explode, even if you kick them around like a ball. Because, um, well, the fuse is what makes the explosive material explode, you know? The fuse reacts with Geo, and then with the contents of the cannonball, and then... Boom? Are we gonna say boom? I don't wish to talk about the fact that I had the same reaction as Paimon did. I'm supposed to be the, the, the traveller, the, like, insert into this story, not the Paimon. Don't, don't talk to me. <laughs> yes, boom. Without their fuses, these cannibals won't explode at all. Ugh, this is gonna be tough. Aren't geo reactions themselves inert? Aye, that's basic alchemical knowledge, that is. However, the potential energy within elements can be quite hard to estimate. For example, if you were to pressurise geo-elemental particles, such that they would be densely packed inside a small vessel, an elemental reaction would generate significant explosive force all the same. Huh. That reminds Paimon of the curious abilities used by people with geovisions. Huh. Then where do they hide all the geo-elements they use? The principles work differently for elemental users. That's a completely separate matter to how the miners of Liyue make ad hoc fuses. I see. You know, how does a treasure hoarder from Mondstadt like you know all about this stuff better than people from Liyue? Wanna guess? Can we hit this guy already? So, is there any way to switch the fuses? 
Well, if you trust me, I could make a simple fuse here at the crafting bench. Ah, uh, you know what? It's not that we don't trust you, but you are a treasure hoarder, and you're not a miner either. Who's to say you wouldn't blow us all sky high? And even if Paimon does trust you, it's not like Sorrow would. Well, the job's all yours. Didn't Jishong say? Alright, stop explaining already. Ugh, what's Paimon going to do about you? We'll keep an eye on him, Paimon, relax. If you ask Paimon, this is how all the bad guys in the stories would want it to go. But since you say so, Paimon will listen to what he has to say. Alright, Kotofo, go ahead. It's not that hard, actually. It's just that there is some minute risk involved, in case you're worried. We just need to get one vial of unmoving essential oil with double the usual density. Isn't that some kind of potion? Exactly. As I said earlier, a double density potion can also serve to catalyze an elemental explosion. I used this principle to collapse some tunnels during my time with the tri- Uh, sorry. Never mind that I said that. It's fine. We don't really care about your hoarder days. If I might ask, how minute is this risk? Well, if an accidental explosion occurs, which it might, considering the unstable nature of concentrated essential oils, the explosion shouldn't be able to drastically alter any geological formations. Okay, so it's safer than babysitting clay. I see. That's fine. Oh, that's a pretty small explosion then. That's fine. Paimon's not too worried. That said, any organic matter within the explosion radius might experience uh, disintegration, breakage, leakage, separation, and... No need for the jargon, I get it. It's gonna be a mess. Paimon didn't get it, but it sure sounds scary. Khadiv has set up a crafting bench back at camp, but we can first attempt to follow the formula to make the essential oils here. If you don't have enough materials on hand, you can find some other way to get the essential oil we need, and we can continue from there. Uh, please keep the formula with you. Just follow it and we'll be fine. In any case, please be careful when walking around with said oil. Shake it too much or drop it accidentally and there might be an explosive accident. Alright, alright, stop trying to scare us already. Okay. Three special and moving essential oils. Oh, are you kidding me? Your for realsy is gonna make me go all the way. Cause I don't know where where it is in here. I'm gonna go up here. Uh which one is it? This one, I think. It's one of the two mountains in Liyue. I knew I should have farmed that beforehand. Not for this video specifically, just I'm trying to have a good amount of resources. <clears throat> and apparently I have not done that with Core Lapis. Yes, it is this one. My brain is huge. Okay, look. I'm just gonna grab the four that are very easily accessible, and then I will. Don't disappoint me. Sorry, Ningguang, I've already disappointed you. I'll just grab the four here, and then I will start a farming route for them at some other time. Stop running everywhere. Do. Goodbye, Ningguang. I'll lead the way. Follow. 
sorry that you're going to be a level 20 forever. You were here, right? Yes. Crafting time. I need three. Lovely. How did it go? Did you finish making the unmoving essential oil? We got it, and we took good care of it too. Here it is. I didn't jump too much. Don't particularly want to keep hold of that for as long, much longer than I have to. Huh. Alright, that's it. Don't shake it. Steady now. Alright. Looks like this will do. Now we just need to insert the fuse into the cannonball. Cortefa busies himself mounting the fuse into the cannonball. Okay, that should do it. Be careful now. Don't bump that thing around everywhere. Or things might get lively in here. I'm back with a new map. Go on, have a look. Thanks for your trouble. Nice. Ah, uh, it was nothing. I'm just be glad to be able to help. How are things on your end? Did you find the cannonballs? Hey, careful. This one's got a fuse in it already. If you move around too much, we're gonna all be done for. Hey, 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 when did you stop putting on airs? If you were the one holding the bomb, you'd sound pretty brave too, I'll bet. Is that a threat? Have you stopped hiding your true treasure hoarder colours already? Well, gonna blow us up now? And they told us to stop fighting. Come on, I've said this before. Bombs are indiscriminate. You go on like this and I don't think it'll matter whether I want to blow you up or not. Hm. It's not like I can read your mind or something. Who knows what thoughts you're having in that mind of yours. You treasure hoarders are all the same. Criminal minds with criminal mindsets. Now you've even got the bomb with you. Great, huh? A little bit prejudiced of you, Ji Chong. I mean, he's not great, but you can just keep it inside until we're done. And what of it? If it was in your hands, you'd have blown us up 30 times by now. What are you two? Children? Cut it out already. Sorry. I just don't trust this treasure hoarder. That works for me. I can barely respect someone who jumps at every shadow she sees either. Hey, are you two even listening? Okay, okay. Alright, go ahead. So, I'm not asking you two to trust each other or anything. I know, but he... May I have a word? That's true. She wasn't around to see us working on that bomb after all. Hey, listen here. If you don't work together, we're going to get nowhere fast. Just don't make me regret joining the exploration team. Thanks. Wow, Sara actually got mad. Let's drop that argument already, okay? Two of you have already put up walls before you can even talk. That's no way to properly communicate. Since we're all on the exploration team, let's just talk nicely, okay? Just this once. Regardless, I'm going to go operate the Mountainator. I'll go with you. I'll stay in the camp then. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'd love to help. But I think Jinra needs my help more. I've also got to thank her for taking me in, you know? Uh, it's fine. I, since Sara has said so, I'll trust you. 
Not that I didn't before, but... Alright, alright. Let's head off before you start arguing again. Fair shout. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so we do have to get that waypoint now. I don't know which one's going to be quicker. I'll go here. Um, oh yeah, because we tried... What's this? Sorry, I got a little distracted because I don't know what this little guy is. Is it like some sort of Sealy? Ever seen that before? I'll keep this close. No. <clears throat> We're going down anyway, so that's fine. the waypoint. Observation point. Okay, the guide. Low lamp post, high frequency flicker. Middle lamp post, low frequency flicker. High lamp post, low frequency flicker. Okay, so the bottom one's high and then the other two are low. Where are the signals? What does that even mean? Where's the third one? Oh, there. Um... Honestly, don't know which one you'd say is which. I think this one's the highest, so we're gonna put this one at low. This one looks like the highest, anyway. Low frequency for you. Oh no. Ha! You blaze! Yeah. 
Let the show be come a little. Don't be such a brute. He if you can be such a brute. So the other one was this way. Is that it there? And then there's the low one. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> so the one that's the lowest is high, and this one is low. Yeah. That's not a frequency thing. thought it was. That's my bad. Uh. <laughs> I might have to go back up to the uh, observation point to have another look. Is that it? Oh, I am great. That was some great accident. I'm so proud. Propagate. Might as well. Don't be scared. Come a little closer. Hit. <laughs> Urine for a little shock. I hate using hyper bloom right next to stuff. Oh, we're just going straight to the uh, thingy. Here it is. We should be able to load the cannibal now. Be careful, the fuse has already been mounted. Ugh, if we'd known we'd had to do this, we should have just mounted the fuse here and loaded the cannon all at once. It's all water under the bridge by now, Paimon. Give me a hand over here, please. Cannon's loaded. Ooh, do I get to do the, the cannoning? Oh, hell yeah. I would have thought this would just shoot straight into the floor. Like, that looks like it's aiming at the floor. I'm glad we have so many cannonballs. Oh, well, there we go. Look, we've done it. Awesome, bullseye. <laughs> yeah, after like five shots. Just as planned. <laughs> Looks like that Klotofu does know what he's talking about after all. Guess we blamed him unjustly. You mean you blamed him unjustly? Go apologize once you have the time. Yeah, you were right. I was too hasty. Harmon wonders what's up ahead. Oh, it's scary, but it's also exciting. Should we continue onward? Yes, let's go. Nice. Love a good extra reward. And let's follow the tunnel that we've created. <clears throat> oh, neat.
Oh. Is this real? A reward on the road. Huh. Oh my god. Do I have to? No, you come over here. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Spring forth! Screw it, these things are pretty tough. I don't like fighting these guys, so... I usually use my burst on them. Let's see if we can sneak around the edge and get rid of this mud. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Such a long tunnel. Did the miners really dig it? Yeah, this tunnel leads to the location of that curious crystal. Normally there should be shelters and resting areas, but it was abandoned. A giant snake or a giant worm have been digging here. That's a little frightening. I love it when there's a sealy to show you the way in these things. It's just so nice, it feels like you've got a I'll friend. I'll keep this close. Oh. Huh. Lumen stone only started springing up like mushrooms within the chasm after the miners discovered this thing. This is definitely no coincidence. From the way it floats in its damaged state, it really does look like the fragments that Iris said existed on Dragonspine. Oh, it does look like the things that we catapulted up by melting the ice fragments. And yeah, I am talking about those floating fragments that you found earlier. Who knows, they might also be inexorably attracted to unite with a large fragment somewhere. Perhaps some nameless ancient civilization sleeps under our feet, just like the ancient catacombs on Dragonspine. What do you think? We'll only know if we go deeper within. The changes to the geological structure of the chasm have been... Accelerating. The black substance that you see covering the rocks only started showing up everywhere recently. I can't be sure, but I think that these things are all related. The mud, the flowing light, and this floating crystal fragment. Why would you think that? Well, that's because they all make me feel sort of... queasy? It's like getting motion sick on a carriage, or losing your sense of direction on a ship in a storm. Really? Paimon feels alright. If you don't feel so good, we can return to camp first. Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. I've had my fair share of bouts of vertigo or seasickness. I'll be okay. Don't push yourself more than you should, alright? Please take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Ah, yes. Have you noticed? There are three strange devices around this crystal thing. We should probably investigate them. What do you think? I'm gonna go ahead and say it doesn't really matter what I think and we're gonna go investigate them. Okay. Let's go take a look, I guess. Oh, I missed one. What was it? Literally right there. Observation skills on point. I 
mean, we're roughly going in the right direction, so I'm fine with picking this up. Yeah, it's kind of thin. Propagate! You play! You're up! I'll protect us! Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Temperature rising. Paimon doesn't feel it. Oh, bruh. Maybe if I get rid of that one. <clears throat> oh, there we go. My brain is huge and ginormous. Am I able to just use one? Oh, brilliant. Show begin. The other one's this way. <laughs> Grab these along the way. We're gonna be something to fight <sighs> here. Drop anything. That's a bit rude. Okay. Shadowy husk. Sure. Ah. 
Okay, are we ready to do whatever this is gonna do? Where's that first? Come a little closer. Just looking for the thingy. You know which thingy. <gasps> oh my. Oh, it's at the top. I am a fool. gonna grab it and just because I don't know what I'm gonna get here next. Because in like the main areas I'm more likely to go there again sooner. do the thing. Are we ready? Let's go. Okay, there's monsters. Oh my god. That scared me. Oh, I'm oh, like a light thing or something, right? Hey dude, kindly don't knock me around. I'm trying to kill you. Stay put. It's a little rough. You're in for a little shock. I'm not allowed to go on that. Get back over here, you coward. The end is nigh. Don't be such a brute. Science guy. I'm so sorry. Scatter! Don't be scared! Let the sneak come a little closer. <laughs> I know you think you're doing something, buddy, but it's been quite annoying, to be honest. Stay put. something cough cough panting Ooh, that's better much better the air suddenly got a whole lot cleaner that thing flew away and blasted a path open for us whoa you scared us it's almost like you had a case of terminal acidity you probably need to go back to class, Paimon. Oh yeah, sure, just focus on Paimon and stuff. 
By the way, terminal lucidity is not used in this way. Shouldn't we be more concerned about Ji Chong? Ha, I'm fine now. I was just suffering from maladjustment a moment ago, so I might have looked pretty frightening. But I'm fine now. Please don't worry. It's like how people might feel faint due to the thinned air if they climb a very high mi mountain for the first time. Or find it hard to breathe in deep waters. To be fair, the whole, like, lungs thing means most people find it hard to breathe in deep waters. These are all small problems. Things every good adventure must overcome. No, no problem at all, really. Small problems, says the person who talks about them so dramatically. Are you sure you're alright? Also, don't watch from so close when we're fighting. Just look at the state you're in already. I'll be fine, really. Don't you underestimate me. That's what adventurers should be like. They should walk with death and consider deadly peril a friend. Um... I don't know, I think the whole thing with adventurers is that they, they, they don't consider death too much. Like, the whole concept of them dying is so, like, insane because they fight so hard or whatever. We fear neither death nor danger, so this is nothing I can't handle. You are kind of dumb. What are you even talking about? <laughs> True. <laughs> it's nothing. Please don't worry about me. I'm just worried for your safety. That's right. We're talking about something different altogether. Stop being stubborn and go back to the surface to rest. No, please, listen to me. They're not different, they're the same thing. What just happened was just a small setback. I can overcome it for sure. The environment here is no harsher than that of the Mara Javari. Please don't laugh at me, but I don't think I'm much inferior to Stanley in adventures. Then ordinary people like me can do the same as those seasoned adventurers, just with some extra grit. That's what I believe. I will persist no matter what, and I'll do my best not to be a burden to you. Then let Paimon ask me ask you a question. Earlier, when you came into contact with that black, muddy, smelly stuff, did you feel uncomfortable like this too? Kinda? It wasn't that serious. Don't try to downplay it. Give us an honest answer. Well, yes, but just like this time, I just needed to tough it out, you know? It was nothing serious. This person has got to be the king of the land of understatements. How can you be sure that you won't be in mortal danger if exposed to it for too long? You need to go back and take a rest. I can't. This expedition has just gotten exciting, you know? I don't want to slow us down. The other people on this expedition need you to lead the way for them. That's right. Jinwu, Khadiv, and the others who still need you to guide them. If you run off by yourself into the depths, who's going to lead the way for them? It's true. You can guide them and steer them clear of any hazardous areas. But... But... Let's rendezvous in the front later. Okay, I understand. Do be careful. Um... I'll go back to camp and guide them through a safe path clear of the dark mud as we go deeper into the chasm. Sorry I was being too stubborn. But I keep your promises and hold your horses and stay clear of dangerous places. Alright, I get it. I'll do as you say. That's the spirit. Sara, let's head off. Man, that was, uh, something. I kept seeing so that was that. That continues the, uh, oh, it's a lumen stone ore.
how many do I have? Hmm. Okay, before we before we end this video, I am just going to go and upgrade the Lumen Stone again. And then that seems like a pretty good stopping point to come back in another video. So, let's get this upgraded. Refined, sorry. Yeah, it's just... I was hoarding them before, but I think I'm just gonna upgrade it every time I get eight of them now. Okay, so interesting stuff. We've got the same crystals that were in Dragon Spine. So I guess we'll find out more about that as we continue this continue this quest. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.